This is a quick video tour of the new British Airways First Class Suite, which is currently flying uh, as we speak today. It's on 26 aeroplanes flying uh, in our long haul fleet. So, a quick tour uh, with Brett sitting in the seat there. All right, guys. Uh, this is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. But we're gonna we're gonna let Richard here give you the tour. Richard is the project manager for this. Overall, it's a 55% bigger seat. Uh, you can see uh, the uh, there's a footstool there. There's uh, some of the beds around around the seat. Uh, we're, what we're looking at here is a, an, uh, a 777, a Boeing 777 uh, first class suite, um, and it's been flying now just under a year. So what Brett is holding there, that's the uh, table. So that pops out there. Okay, one side of it is covered in leather as a leather uh, writing bureau. Uh, then the table opens up fully uh, to a full-size dining table, uh, which then we set up like that for the main meal service. You can see we've uh, increased the size of the screen now. It's a 15-inch uh, screen. Uh, the screen does actually have a couple of enhancements. At the bottom there you can see an RCA jack on the right, which allows you to connect your iPod showing video onto the monitor. There's also a USB port on the left. Just moving to the right here, this is the back of the seat in front of you, um, but we've incorporated a personal wardrobe in there. So that's a nice area for you to store your uh, jacket, trousers, uh, shoes at the bottom there. So that's a nice area so you have your items close at hand. Actually room for very small children in the bottom <laughs> as well, which is a, a good benefit. Right, so um, just one item which you probably can't see, but just at the floor there, you'll see a PC power socket as well. It's the uh, it's one of the new style PC power sockets. Which in terms of the seat controller, okay, we've simplified the seat control. Uh, and those of you familiar with uh, BMW uh, car interiors, uh, it's uh, very similar, uh, inspired by the iDrive system. Uh, you can see there it's a very simple twist to operate. So twist it one way, and the seat reclines. I'm going down. I'm gonna take a nap. I did not get much sleep on the plane last night, guys. Um. It's in a fully flat position now. Uh, you can see where you get the extra width is because the armrests have now um, dropped down to be flush with the rest of the bed. So that gives you an extra um, sh uh, extra shoulder and elbow width, uh, which is very important when trying to get some sleep as um, uh, people generally turn quite a lot during their sleep. So that extra shoulder width is quite important. And then my favorite, right, the window you. shade far away. I mean that is just cool. So each each suite has two dedicated windows, right? Yes, what we've done here is we've given every customer their own two windows surrounded by a personal electronic blind. Now you can see, for those of you familiar with uh, our previous first class or our current first class that's flying around in the rest of our fleet, there was normally in the middle there a window uh, which is in between the two seats and we constantly had comments from customers saying who controls that window some people wanted it out some people wanted it down so to get rid of it we just completely covered that up I think our airplane is inside right now this is probably probably not a good sign that we may have made a wrong turn and then moving across we have one of our seats made up into the bed mode with the sleeper suit the duvet and the pillow all provided, ready for sleep. With the uh, in the center ones here, they have a manual screen. So if you are traveling with someone else, you can sit right next to them. You're not completely isolated. 